The convenience store owner tells me she is angry and frustrated. This morning she came under fire after robbers ransacked her business for the second time in just four days. At V's convenience store at the corner of 61st and Everhart, the damage is clear. Robbers leaving behind a shattered front door after taking cash registers. Store owner Vanessa Harris was alerted to the break in and caught them in the act early this morning. Some of them fired shots at her and she fired back. I was kind of nervous, thinking, like, is they finna shoot again? But when I realized he did it as a scare shot and they ran all at the store, I just fired back. And two more ran out on foot. This is the second time in four days Harris has been robbed. The first time was on New Year's Eve overnight. This is surveillance video from that incident showing several people going through her cash registers. I'm losing so much being on this corner. Um, I'm closing up. I got some of my customers complaining now about me closing at 5 36 o'clock, but it's only due to my safety. This morning's break in putting Harris over the edge, as this time shots were fired. She believes she may have injured one of the robbers as they got away in a white sedan. I'm pretty for sure I did. If they didn't, they was lucky. Got to do what I got to do. I mean, uh, unfortunately, this ain't what I want to do. I don't want no death on my conscience, but they get ridiculous. Harris says she has a concealed carry license and police took her gun as protocol while they investigate. She's been in business here in the Woodlawn neighborhood for three years, selling food and coffee, but says this is traumatizing. It's not easy running a business, you know? So I, I'm really frustrated. I'm really frustrated and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the police get involved. I really feel hurt and violated. Harris says she's trying to contact other business owners in the area to see if they can all get together and get security after hours. At Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.